welcome back once again to my channel. I'm sure I'm not the only one that have gone out to the range in poor lighting and especially with an air rifle had problems with my chronograph not picking up the shots. In fact I was at an indoor shooting range about two weeks ago and my chronograph couldn't register a single shot. Now I know that some people in the past I've seen people just put little loose little LED lights on here but uh, I'm bored and I've come up with another solution. It's not expensive, easy to do and uh, works quite well. You're going to need a, two pieces of webbing, some male and female adapters for wires. These are cheap, cheap, cheap. I think they were five dirhams on eBay. A roll LED lighting. You can cut them off at your selected heights. Cut two of these little strips, I'll show you now. Four foot piece of cord, small little 12 volt battery, a micro switch or a little toggle switch, some press studs and connectors and obviously a drill, soldering iron and a couple of tools. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making little strips like this Filled with LEDs, these are super bright. They clip on here, this connects to the battery, and you now have a full length, very bright light here, and you'd probably be able to shoot at night with this. So let me get straight to it into the time lapse photography, and I'll be filming as I make the second one and then I'll show you the finished product and we'll do some trials indoors and see how well it works. Let's get going! didn't take that long. Battery is nicely in the box. I will still put some heat heat glue just to secure the wire over here but easy on easy off and when you put them away you can just unplug them and you have your two cords and battery will be separate with that. So uh, let's get this onto the Let's fit this onto the chronograph, get the rifle out, and let's do some indoor trials and see how this bad boy operates indoors. It's already past sunset outside, so uh, it would really be a, a good time to test it. I'll put it indoors, shoot at a <laughs> container filled with sand, and uh, we'll see how it works. So looking forward to it. Yes, it's probably not the way we should be doing it, but I'm in a studio apartment, in an apartment building in a big city somewhere, and um, this is the shooting range currently available to test, so this is what it's going to be. It won't go through that, just better not miss it. Let's see how it goes. Beautiful. Look at that. 860. No misreads. 868. Reading like a charm. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's do a bit of adjustments here. Get the speed down. Let's see what she does on power setting too. Beautiful. 709. Well, ooh, 725. Why did that change so much? 
722, try one more, 714, well, bottom line is, it works, it works incredibly well, uh, I'm indoors and it's just not misfiring, previous time at the range, I couldn't get a single shot, very happy, let's move this out of the way, I am more than happy with this, the, um, that is what I was looking for. This can actually stay on here. I think in bright sunlight this won't really make a, won't have an effect on it. It's a bit shaded on the inside, but uh, very easy now. Transport and ready to go to the range. I am very happy. So there you have it. Affordable air gunning. Really it's a hour or so's work. Doesn't cost a lot and uh, you now um, I want to say you're almost guaranteed to know to have no misreads. So uh, easy as that. Happy hunting.